The Wacky Musician, and we're filming live from my kitchen today because we're going to need access to some water. As we do today's episode is make and play music with bottles, or make and play musical bottles. And so we've got bottles. You're going to definitely need bottles to make and play musical bottles. These are glass, and glass is your best choice. They will make the best sound. Plastic's okay. It will do it, just not as effectively. And the color in these bottles we'll talk about later. It's not really that important. And the other thing you'll need is water. Water is what we're going to use to tune these with. And you will need some way of tuning. Um, I'm using a chromatic tuner. Most musicians have some sort of chromatic tuner or a guitar tuner. Guitar tuner is not quite as effective because it doesn't give you every note. Um, I'll put up here a website for What's it called? ProGuitarTuner.com. Now, it does say guitar in the name, but it is actually a chromatic tuner. And what the tuner will do is help show you what pitch you're at. Let's get started. Now, the other thing you need to know in order to make musical bottles is how to play them. Now, making a sound on a bottle is something many of you have done as kids, so it may not be any problem for you, but if you don't know how to do it, it's actually very much how you play a flute. Take a bottle here. You want to blow across the hole. You don't want to think about blowing in the hole, though I did get a little sound doing that. You want to think about blowing across the hole. So looking straight at you, the air is going straight out. Oh, and one other thing you may need but this is optional, is food coloring. That's why the bottles are colored, but that's completely optional. So what we have here is an empty bottle, glass bottle. Said plastic will work, just doesn't make quite as good a sound. And what we have over here is our tuner. As I say, you can, if you don't have a tuner, you can go online to that web li link I put up earlier, and I'll put it up here again. And you'll see it's picking up my voice. You'll see right here it says it's picking up a D. The center zero means in tune. If it's this way, it means it's too high, which we call sharp. If it's this way, it means it's too low, which we call flat. If we just blow on the bottle to begin with, we'll see this bottle produces a G. Now we can change that pitch by simply putting water in the bottle. Let me move the camera over to the sink here. Alright, now you can see I put quite a bit in it. Let's see what that does. So I'm at a D, but it's a little sharp. So. What I really want is a C. I'm going to go for a C. So I'm going to dump a bit of water out. There's our C. So that's all there is to musical bottles. You just need to tune each bottle for the notes you need. Now that's where the food coloring comes in. Uh, it just makes it, I use it to make it easier to tell the bottles apart. And so let's go ahead and grab some food coloring. You're just staring at the sink, but I'm getting to it. Okay, I've got paper towels down because these food colorings are old and sometimes crumbs come off and they just make things messy. So, got a little tube of blue food coloring. And just one or two drops is really all it takes. Is there anything in here? I think it may be out. There we go. One or two drops. I think that was actually more, but that's okay. It kind of uh, sneezed into it. And just kind of stir it up. And now you have blue water. Got a little blue on the top of the bottle here, dripping down. Eventually it'll drip all the way. You might want to wipe off the top. Make sure you don't get any blue on your mouth when you blow on it. So now I'll know that blue is the note I just made, which is C. This uh, green here is an E flat. And this yellow is B flat. You'll have to plan out ahead of time 
what your song is, what notes you need, and then arrange your bottles in the best order to be able to play the song. I'll look down here. I've actually got a couple bottles right here. I'll kneel down so you can still see me. One moment. Alright, so here's our three bottles. Now if we were playing the whole Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we'd need a lot more than this. And we'd need more surface area to put more bottles to arrange them. But for the very first part of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, this is what we need. This is our first note, second note, and third note. Then we go back to our second note. Now let me get my face and at least my lips so you can see. Now you can see what you need to do is practice the coordination of how you're going to put down one bottle and grab the next one as you prepare for each note. And that's pretty much it for make and play musical bottles. As I say, it's one of the easiest ones I think I've done. And we'll see you later.